Hi there, our Seagull here. Today I'm back with the final episode of my Road to Axial Fest series. We're gonna install my final upgrade, a worn winch and also a wired winch controller. This controller allows you to control your winch directly from a switch on your transmitter. If you guys are looking to install a winch on your own rig, this could be a good option for you. It's super simple to set up, very easy to program. I'll show you guys how I'm doing it in my Axial SCX-102 Cherokee XJ. Stay tuned. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. Here you're gonna find RC reviews, tips and tricks, run videos, flight videos, and other things related to RC. So make sure you like and subscribe if you wanna see more. I'm gonna be doing a lot of filming at Axial Fest, so make sure you stay tuned. I'm gonna share a ton of content with you guys. I also share a lot of behind the scenes stuff on my Instagram and Facebook. I'll put a link to both of those in the description box below. Here we have my Axial SCX-102 Cherokee XJ. I'll put a link to the previous videos in my series in the description box below. Also link the latest one up here where I installed a Mitre Garcia lighting system. I don't have any experience using or installing winches before, but I got this one from RC Four Wheel Drive. It's a 110 scale worn winch, licensed worn winch. Really cool. I've seen these on full scale rigs and they look really awesome. This is a nice scale replica. I'm going to install it on my RC Four Wheel Drive Tough Armor front bumper. We're going to have to do a little bit of a mod though, because although the holes on the bottom of the winch align with the holes on my front bumper, because the Cherokee XJ sits a little bit forward, I'm going to have to actually install the winch a little bit more forward than where the holes are positioned. So we're going to have to do some drilling. I'll show you guys what I did for that. We're also gonna have to tap into our receiver box to hook up the Warren winch controller. You're also gonna need a receiver and transmitter that has a spare channel where you can plug your wired winch controller into it that allows you to control it directly from a button on your transmitter. If you don't have enough channels, I think they also have a remote winch controller with a press button that you can buy separately. I'll put a link to both of these in the description box below. They come with all the cables and all the hardware that you need to install them in your rig. Enough yapping, let's get to the install. First, before I install it, I'm going to lay out all the components. So the winch controller, I call this the woo boob. <laughs> this is the outlet for your winch. And this is the outlet here that's going to go to your battery. First, let's get everything working and programmed, and then we'll install it on the front bumper. So first, you're going to take this connector, you're going to plug it into your winch. And then you're going to plug this into the woo port or the winch port with the W here. Okay, then take this servo cable. This is the port that's gonna go to your battery. And technically it doesn't go directly to your battery. It goes first through your receiver and then to the battery. So this is gonna get power from your receiver. These cables have a little notch in them here. So I had to shave a little piece of that side off with a hobby knife to be able to plug it into my receiver. So we're gonna plug the other one, the end that I did not shave, I'm gonna plug into the boob port the battery port on our winch controller. And then this is gonna go into the auxiliary port on your receiver. So I'm gonna plug this into aux two. I already have aux one controlling my lighting system. So this will be an aux two, and then we'll set it up an aux two in our transmitter. So let's dive into our receiver box and plug this in. We're gonna take our servo cable, plug it in in the right orientation, making sure that all the blacks, the red and the white are all aligned, plugging it into aux two. It's getting super packed in here with cables. Also wanted to mention that this winch controller is not waterproof. So if you're gonna be running through water, make sure that you either coat it in Corrosion X, coat the circuit board so it's gonna be waterproof, or put it into a separate receiver box that you install right here. Before we close this up, let's make sure that everything works. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I program this in my DX5 Rugged. Let's turn it on. La la la. Okay, you're gonna go into aux assign. And you're gonna go to aux two. It's currently inhibited. You're gonna go to assigning it to a switch. So I kind of think switch D could be good here cause you're kind of using the wheel. So we're gonna assign it to switch D. All right, you're gonna go to three position, cyclic inhibit, momentary active. Done, super simple. We're gonna plug in our car battery, turn on our ESC, and we should have winch control. Ta-da, <laughs> super cool. There you go. You'll see here, 
the body will not quite fit on with the winch as it is currently, but I found a way to be able to make this work. I think this front bumper actually goes to a smaller winch that they have. My mistake. So what I did was I marked where the updated holes need to be. This metal plate, this whole metal plate right here comes off if you unscrew four screws here. So I could just take this plate out into the garage. I don't have to take the whole bumper. It also allows me to screw in from the bottom of the bumper into the winch itself to mount it. We'll take it outside, do that real quick, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Alrighty, now I have my holes drilled. I actually broke a drill bit doing this and there's a little scratch on it, but I could touch that up with a little black paint. So you also notice that they're a little bit off center and that was on purpose. I need the winch to sort of be at a little bit of an angle. Next, we're gonna unscrew this metal piece here. So I'm gonna unscrew this piece and this piece and we're gonna fish it through the front bumper here. So let's do that real quick. So we fished it through here and then we're gonna cinch down the winch to the bottom plate here. And we're gonna reattach this piece here. But these screw holes don't align with the winch because this plate is here. So let's take this plate off. We're gonna reuse the screws that we just took off and use those to mount the bumper to the plate that we just drilled the holes in. Oh no, this part is on the back. Whoops. Okay, so let's do this again. Okay. Okay, so let's fish this piece through. Reattach our metal plate back to the bumper. Looks like we can only screw the original two screws back in because the worn winch covers the other two holes, but that's okay. I think that this should hold it on just fine. Now we're gonna reattach this piece. Ta-da! I probably could have mounted it a tad bit more forward because it does push this front grill in a little bit, but I don't know, that's not so bad. Okay, let's test it out. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We are officially done with my XJ build for Axial Fest 2019. Thanks to RC Four Wheel Drive for supplying my first winch. I'm all set for some off-road recoveries. I just started following some YouTube channels where the whole thing is taking the rigs out and recovering people in the backcountry. There's one where there's a yellow XJ. Super cool. I'll put a link to his channel in the description box below. So I gotta get out of here. I gotta start packing. We leave tomorrow to head up to Donner Ski Ranch for Axial Fest 2019. Hope to see you guys there. I cannot wait. Make sure to like and subscribe as always. I'll see you later.